Today, our topic is the mystic, the mystic power, the mystic power of Chukukika Abiyama to our ancestors is at work. The mystic power of Chukukika Abiyama to our ancestors is at work. We are 555 vision and we came to South Africa with the 555 vision. That's why we title it the mystic power of Chukukika Abiyama to our ancestors is at work. Let us start. we are coming to analyze this thing deep so try to share this thing to to other groups any group you belong share it there the reason we have to analyze this thing is because this energy you see here is how they recruited those people that they scored Christians. They said, King Leopardo of Belgium said that they knew as they traveled, they entered in a region that is very, very brave and mighty in power, both physical and the spiritual. Then, the only way for them to bring those people down is through psychological maltreatment. To tell them that this thing they are doing, the kind of God they have, is evil. That is the only way they can be able to capture the brain of these people. Let us continue. Work with me, please, by comment with your comment then you know your comment about the energy your comment is the energy we gain you know the physical one we are here work with us share the program so that we can tell our people the mystery the mysteries and the mystics which chuko kika abiyama is using to protect his people the Igbo people so help us to share as we as we continue help us to share as we continue the evil people so help us to share as we as we check our destiny now we continue you may have seen this video before but let's <laughs> Do you know? You know. Long time ago, long time ago, the war of a Kumeko. The war of a Kumeko. Before slave trade, before these white people came and they bring Christianity to our people, this energy you are seeing today was the energy they used 
Igbo people used to defend themselves. When they see, when the white people see and found out that Igbo people have energy that came from Chukukita Biyama himself, then they returned and they came back as colonial masters. They came back as colonial masters. They came with the missionary journeys and the colony, telling you that everything found in this land is evil. Today, we have been asking difficult questions. Mazen Nambekano says, only the name of Chukukika Biyama will give us Biafra, and no other name that will give us Biafra. We go on asking questions. Who is fighting for Biafra now? The time of Ojuku, we hear and we hear we, we are not there then, but we hear them singing Jesus, 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 Jesus. We have seen how the war of Ojuku ended. But Mazen Nandekano studied the powers in circulation of all Biafra. He said, the only power that we give us Biafra is the power of Chukukika Biyama. And since that time, we've been asking, who is Chukukika Biyama? And what is Chukukika Biyama? And how do he fight? Today, many things we are seeing today is mystery in our eyes. It's strange in our eyes. Some Nigerian government will come to kill people to destroy peoples in their own land. Chukukika Biyama gave them things they will use to protect themselves. And they, long time ago, we've been hearing pastors saying that all these things is evil. Reverend fathers, reverend sisters being recruited, walking in the line of the colonial masters. They say that these things are evil. Something Chukukika Biyama created on his own. And now we call on you to use this opportunity to share why we, we, we roll this, this message. We have to roll it. Then you will understand deeply why we come. Why we come and why we title it the mystic Power of Chukukika Biyama to our ancestors is at work. We have to show you things. You may have seen this video, but I have not read any comment here. Please, we need to read your comment. Write your comment. Let us know if the comment is working. Because sometimes they used to they used to vlog them. Yeah, people are writing and it's not showing. Okay. <clears throat> These are the kind of attacks we are receiving also. Now we we go. We, I will be reading your comment from other side because the system of bringing it. He, can, he cannot understand what is the problem between them. Look at where we are. Look at where we are. Look at where we are. These people that are supposed to understand what we are pursuing. Put where engage you over so give me say run what I wish. He cannot understand what is the problem between them. Onye keku rubbish na platform. Una me some of them in Europe here. Some of these media warriors in Europe here yeah, knows that how, how to ignore somebody who is who is misbehaving, overlooked him, make him irrelevant. No, no, see my put her boy immediately. Now one name we open everything out and now we like I want to report a boy and immediately I want so only on my own legafo. No, 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 complete. Nobody can what I see. No child what I see like we ban aga. 
It happened on your one person, man. None of you cannot even grow above this. You people now over your misconduct, who not drag everybody, Dis creating disaffection here and there. Enemy and but as a experiment with the yellow motor pilot here. Now go and they banish your charge. Who now am I going to wait to get in the ground? I will not hide there. Now okay, vacuum of uh, silent. Because uh, the leadership is not quiet. Oh, we know again fill the, uh, the the gap. Now nah, my the where the leader who no got the information where the leadership who they fill that gap one good until I be with a decision and report. Until I be with a country Sharon. Oh my God. Oh, she make it. Go there, my book. I don't know. I don't know. I'm. I'm. No, with I don't know even how, how is it is it better to quit this thing? I don't know. I don't know. Come, um, no, it's a, it's a while. Zap on at this thing. No, I don't know. I'm, I'm, no, with I don't know even how, how is it is it better to quit this thing? I don't know. I don't know. What we are doing behind them maybe him more or your natural job more. Are you getting it? On them, I have an eye. Behind them, maybe him more or your natural agent. Book him more. Hey, man, why is my comment section not working? She make a god. These are the attacks. Okay, but we have to preach. I would like to communicate with the people. Showing their comments here, just like the way we used to do it. Okay. Hamilton, I greet you. Uche. Uche Okafo, I greet you. Uh, Wilson, I greet you. Uzamaka Nicholas. Wow, Uzamaka, thank you for joining. Uh -huh. Now, help us to share the message. Let it go viral to the last man standing. We have to bring everything in order for our people to know how to cook Ikabiyama. Is working and fighting this war on his own. On his own. This person you see here, this person you see here are the people who took it upon themselves to destroy their life. They are the people that put the law. If you ask what has Simon ever done, they will tag you and send you for assassination. These are the people who is doing it. Today um, he is um, telling you he will he will quit. No, I don't know even how, how is it is it better to quit this thing? I don't know. I don't know. Come, um, zap on this thing. The pain is too much. The stress is too much. Not from the enemy, but from the now as the pain is is unbearable. It's too much. I don't know. I don't know. I call you there. We are buying or is it is it better to quit this thing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't this thing. The pain is too much. The stress is too much. Not from the enemy, but from the enemy. Also. The pain is too much. Ika Abulaha. Ika Abulaha. They are tired. These people are the people who made this struggle to reach today. It, they are tired. They are confused. We have to come. We have to come. Ovat, thank you for joining. Thank you, everyone that is joining. Share the message. Share it. Share it. Share it to groups. So, are you seeing them crying? The power. The mystic power of Chukwokika Abiyama to our ancestors is at work physically and spiritually. We have to be rolling our program by volume one, volume two, mystics that is happening. As he cried now, let us continue to show you how they are crying. The mystic power of Chukwokika Abiyama is at work. Let us hear him cry, then we will begin to show you people how they have been crying. We go on. 
We go on. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know even how, how is it is it better to quit this thing? Yeah, man. Thank you. The pain is too much. The stress is too much. Not from the enemy, but from the enemy as The pain is, is unbearable. It's too much. We are buying agawas. We are buying agawas. Gambling and more who come out when you're burning because of digging. Gambling and more who come out when you're burning because of digging. Are they only with too much? But you have your own country, Oh my god. Oh, she naked. I don't know. I don't know. They took it upon themselves to and say they will destroy their own life. These are the people who organize good. To us and say they are the supporters of Mazen and the Kano. They have no strategy. They have no strategy. The other day, the other one they call a Biafran child. He said he has not, he, he cannot give you Biafra. He is sorry. He doesn't have what it takes to bring Biafra. So he must follow the people that knows how to bring Biafra. The mystic power of Chukwu Kika Abiyama to the ancestors of Igbo land is at work physically and spiritually. Let us go and now tell, show you how it is working spiritually. You have seen it now. These people, they took oath, they will not betray Biafra. Today you see them, you see them crying. Mazi Mazi Udo Udo Toma Ah, I beg, forgive me. Uh, I hope you know, you know you know their life, no? Okay, yeah, I see Twitter, but I want okay, okay. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Yeah. Man, sorry, eh? sorry, sorry, sorry. Our minister called me now to check something. There is something. Sorry, oh. let us come. Let us come. Um, let us come. No, with the uh, of Anambra State, by the operators of the state of Nigerian police, Nigerian police force, the DSS, the Nigerian army, and one Chukwuoka, Chief Zoramo Fable, A.K.A. Ijele speaks. During which murderous invasion, my personal assistant, late Mr. Samuel Okoro, was gruesomely murdered, as you can see in the clip. It is pertinent to note that the dastardly act was clearly captured by the CCTV camera within and around my compound, and the published footage speaks for itself. <coughs> the murderous invaders did not stop at the later murder of my PA. They also abducted my elder brother, Mr. Joel Ejofo, during this invasion, and three of my domestic staff, namely Felix Okonkwo, my driver, Oka for Lawrence Ugochuku, my gardener, and Ike Nashibike, my steward. These direct descendants of Stetan thereafter dragged and dumped the lifeless body of my P murdered PA <coughs> inside the boot of my Toyota Camry car, which they made away with upon the conclusion of their evil assignment submission in my house. <coughs> the age long saying that a Daniel has, has come to judgment was aptly demonstrated on the 22nd day of Ju Ju July. 2022, when his lordship, Honorable Justice H. A. Ngajewa of Court No. 1, Federal High Court Oka, delivered a landmark judgment in the Fundamental Rights Suit No. FHS, FHC, Oka CS, slash 56, slash 2021, 
between Mr. Ifanye Jofo, my humble self, then Nigerian police, the first respondent, the Inspector General of Police, the State Security Services, the Director General of SSS, Nigerian Civil Defense Corps, Nigerian Army, the Chief of Army Staff, and Chuku Kachizoram of Ebu, aka Jealous Speaks. The judgment is here. I will also avail you of the soft copies and also the hard copies of the judgment, which is more decisive than even the statement I'm talking about. I'm, I'm holding. Hello, guys. I'm here with Al Haji himself. You see, straight from the villa. <laughs> it's well with all of us. It's well for men of good way. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. They have taken advantage of hostilities in the south, but not to them. They don't know the kind of role I'm playing to make sure that peace in, the, in our land. Because All some people are benefiting. Oh, they are benefiting from the hostilities. Of the eye. People who are apparently agents of foreign government. That, you know, I was supposed to have a meeting on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on Sunday being assist at 10 a.m. somewhere. I may not mention it here. <coughs> but I am waiting for them because I'm going to mention them that shot the whole world. If they are unable to investigate what all happened in my house, yeah. But I am waiting for them because I'm going to mention them that shot the whole world. If they are NAM somewhere, I may not mention it here. But I am waiting for them because I'm going to mention them that shot the whole world. If they are unable to investigate what all happened in my house, I'm <coughs> Now, are you getting the dots? Are you getting the dots? Lies is only for a little time, but the truth endures forever lies is only for a little time truth endures forever our people say there is nothing the, the palm did at night eh? the, <laughs> the palm did at night that uh, the other one will not testify People always say, oh, people went to to uh, a, a your first house. That uh, they went there at your first house and they killed people. They kill uh, uh, um, ESN command, his PA. But nobody is talking about who took the action and who carried the action. They are not talking about those ones. But when nature begins its job, nature will then take its shape and do its job according to how it's supposed to be now nature is working and the, this nature that is working now is the nature the white man religion came to destroy that's why we tag this program today now the mystic power of Chukwu Kika Biyama to our people. It is happening in our own eyes. All those things they wrote in the Bible that seems like mystery, that seems like fallacies, that seems like magic, all is happening. The revelation time is now. Now, nobody is asking who took the, uh, who take the, the action in Ejiofor's house. Now, not only that Ejiofor is the eye of Nigerian government, but he also tried to hang the attempt in his hand, in his house, to another person who is also a betrayer to this struggle we are into. Everything is revealing itself on its own, on its own. Now, whom did Ejiofor say that Nigerian government supposed to uh, go for? At 10 a.m. somewhere. I may not mention Nigeria. here. Government but I, I'm waiting for them because I'm going to mention them that shot the whole world. If they are unable to investigate what all happened here. But I, I'm waiting for them because I'm going to mention them that shot the whole world. If they are unable to investigate what all happened in my house and produce the criminal that came to my house and leave my boss within the day for eight hours, I'll mention the names of the people that had me too. Of Anambra State by the operators of the state of Nigerian police, Nigerian police force, 
the DSS, the Nigerian yes, Army, and one Chukwoka, Chief Zoramo Fuebu, a.k.a. Ijele Speaks, during which murderous invasion, my personal assistant, late Mr. Samuel Okoro, was gruesomely murdered, as you can see in the clip. Yeah. It is pertinent to note that the dastardly act was clearly captured by the CCTV camera within and around my compound. And the published footage speaks for itself. The murder was invited by the operators of the state of Nigerian police, Nigerian police force, the DSS, the Nigerian army, and one Chukuoka, Chief Zoramo Fuebu, a.k.a. Ijele Speaks, during which murder was and one Chukuoka, Chief Zoramo Fuebu, a.k.a. Ijele Speaks, during which murderous invasion. You know why we are, <laughs> we know where we are going. Chukwe Kadama is at work in what we are doing. And uh, since he is at work, he is fighting this war physically and uh, spiritually. When we continue to this thing, Diana, Thank you for joining, Diana. Age of four, you are real wicked, Diana said. Now, let us continue. All these people that is shouting up and down, kill Simon Eba, kill Simon Eba, kill Simon Eba. We will roll this message. You will hear how they plan the, uh, the arrest of Namdekano, the people who planned it and how it uh, how they confessed remember Simon Eba is not only a military in europe here in finland Simon Eba is also under criminal investigation here in europe and also a human rights activist who can bring one to one and join them then something will happen let us roll it a little. You will get something you have not heard before. My personal assistant, late Mr. Samuel Okoro, was gruesomely murdered, as you can see in the clip. It is pertinent to note that the dastardly act was clearly captured by the CCTV camera within and around my compound. And the published footage speaks for itself. The murderers and fathers did not stop at the later murder of my PA. They also abducted my elder brother. Mr. Joel Ejofo, during this invasion, and three of my domestic staff, namely Felix Okonkwo, my driver, Oka for Lawrence Ugochuku, <coughs> my gardener, and Ike Nashibike, my steward. These direct descendants of Stetan, thereafter, dragged and dumped the lifeless body of my P murdered PA <coughs> inside the boot of my Toyota Camry car, which they made away with upon the conclusion of their evil assignment mission in my house. The age long saying that a Daniel has, a Daniel has come to judgment was aptly demonstrated on the 22nd day of Ju Ju July, 2022. When his lordship, Honorable Justice H.A. Ngajewa of Court No. 1, Federal High Court Oka, delivered a landmark judgment in the fundamental rights suit number FHS, FHC, Oka CS, slash 56, slash 2021. Between Mr. Ifanye Jofon and Mr. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Then Alistair. Nigerian Police, the first respondent, the Inspector General of Police, the Sex Security Services, the Director General of SSS, <coughs> Nigerian Civil Defense Corps, Nigerian Army, the Chief Army Staff, and Chuku Kachizoram of Fable, aka Jelly Speaks. The judgment is here. I will also avail of the soft copies and also the hard copies of the judgment. Which is more decisive than even the statement I'm talking about. I'm, I'm holding. Hello, guys. I'm here with Al Haji himself. You see, straight from the villa. <laughs> it's well with all of us. It's well for men of good will. Hello. Are you getting the key now? There is a saying that says, a picture speaks more than a thousand words if you study what they call baroque you will understand how to study a picture one picture you see that picture will transmit more than a thousand words into your brain then you will begin to fix out the 
events that is behind the picture. A picture speaks more than a thousand words. Now, a picture speaks more than a thousand words not to talk of video and the words which you hear them say. Now, when this guy, Ijere, was in talking, he had a program with a master prophet where master prophet asked him, if you see Mazen Nandekano, what do you think you can do? He, he said he will eliminate Mazen Nandekano. On Mazen, on, on Master Prophet program, Master Prophet featured him there. He openly said it when he began to attack uh, Mazen Samuel Nandekano from Turkey until he returned to Nigeria. And uh, Asari Dokobo is the person who says that even the wife of Mazen Nandekan called him when they are going, when they were going to Finland to protest and to write to told to tell Finland government to arrest Simon Eba. Asare Dokobo confirmed it. And even before the arrest of, Asa, of Maz, the kidnap of Mazen Nandekan, Asare Dokobo said he will smoke. Mazen Nandekano alive. Are you getting it? And these are the pictures. They are speaking on their own. We are analyzing it because a picture speaks more than a thousand words. And the, all these people you see crying today are the people you already know. As we will continue with this one, we have to bring something out. The people who say, Instead, Simon and Eba will bring Biafra. Let Biafra not come. We will show you because we are keeping history here. Wait. Hold on, please. <clears throat> this person you are going to watch here. The person you are watching, you gotta go as an American mate, and Sri Lanka's friend mate, Nankabo, Dubai mate, or Nankabo, Saudi Arabia mate, or the part. This is the person that is called Odeje Kende Odeje Kebusu. He is the one who says, instead, the Simon Eba will bring Biafra. Let Biafra not come. As if he has something to offer for Biafran restoration. As if today he has been hiding his face. He has been hiding his face. Now he wants to go and say Kanda. He is now publishing Kanda. Abobano. Is it this person that will give you Biafra? And you know that this person has deceived a lot of people. We are taking you to a very long journey. So now we can be able to explain to Venezuela, South America. So I can go Prince, we did a produce So I can go Prince, we did a Kenda Mosu. No, but we would go. So it's in Caracas, so we're going to come to the So it's in Caracas, so we're going to come to the Mosu. So I can go Prince, who did the Kenda Mosu. No back away, Murago. So it's in Caracas, so we're going to come to the You know why we play this thing? I want to be reading comment. Uh, yes. Kalista, thank you for writing the comment. Thank you. Now, these are the people who say, instead, Simon Eba will bring Biafra. Let Biafra not come. And the millions of people have been following them because he is living in Venezuela. You understand? 
because he is staying in Venezuela. People are following them. Are you getting it? What is our topic today? The mystic power of Chukwokiga Biyama down to our ancestors is at work physically and spiritually. Physically and spiritually. Now, we saw this other guy, Monsonkwa. He says he is carrying his own propaganda, calling the name of innocent person. But to hear, who opposes or them? If anybody tells you, he's telling you that IPOB is the one killing people in Oruzo, it is not correct. Wicked politicians are sponsoring the killing in Oruzo. <coughs> Are you getting it? When we are doing our program, we do program with evidences. And why we are doing it like this? Because one day, things will happen. We are keeping the records straight. Keeping the record straight. Those people, those people who say that Simon, but they took it upon themselves, to destroy some or never has come here today. There is no two ways about it. All these people knows exactly the truth. All these people knows that these people already had their own plan let us go guys i'm here with alhaj himself you see straight from the villa <laughs> it's well with all of us it's well for men of good way thank you so much sir. thank you very much sir. don't take the advantage of hostilities in the but i'm not to them they never know the kind of role i'm playing to make sure that's peace in the and our land because some oh, people are benefiting oh, they are benefiting oh. from the hold on invite people we have come to analyze how Chuko Kika Abiyama is working spiritually and physically because they said at the end the truth will be revealed and when the truth is revealed then that is the, the coming of the son of man <coughs> The coming, sorry for that. <coughs> the coming of the Son of Man during the time of revelation, the revelation time, everything hidden will be revealed. And when those are revealed, those who stood against the truth will come back and they knowingly and unknowingly they will come back and they recognize the facts after they have made the mistake freedom is taken i must greet you thank you confession time <clears throat> solomon number thank you confession time and we are analyzing it now let us give you a little about this analysis now <coughs> people who are apparently agents of foreign government that you know i was supposed to have a meeting on the on the on sunday being assist at 10 a.m somewhere i may not mention here but apparently agents of foreign government that you know i was supposed to have a meeting on the on the on sunday being assist at 10 a.m somewhere i may not mention here but I, i'm waiting for them because i'm going to mention them that should go on if they are on i may not mention here but I, I'm waiting for them. Are you listening? As we are continuing, as we are going on, we will be bringing out things, materials we have, one after another. After a lawyer, the man can't take over with the lies and deceit from propaganda, they have already go to mass in Lankan and begin to lie to him. Simon Eber had been taken over, and he wrote it on his Twitter handle. 
but some of them come to attack him. I mean, because sometimes he will do something, they won't want him to come and claim it. But being who he is, he will claim it. It does not matter what you said, he will come and claim it. Let me see if I have that, uh, the, the right up of Simon and see how they were attacking him. But I will prove to you. you are you hearing him here now? He says they have been attacking him. He is the leader of the attack and the, the other one in the Turkey. He is the leader of the attack. Now he is removing himself from the attack. But what they are doing now is good. As Evoke uh, E. Prosper said, this is confession time. As a uh, as, uh, as, uh, summer, this is confession time. Freedom is taken. Ejiofo wanting his balance. Yes, confession time. We are into revelation time. You know, Genesis. Then you come to revelation time. Revelation time is where we are now. Listen. Simon ever is in charge. There's no two ways about it. There's no two ways about it. There's no two ways about it. And I will tell you people that Simon ever is in charge. There's no two ways about it. And I will tell you people that Aloe Chimako know exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. <clears throat> Let us continue. We are bringing this program today. And with this program today, I want it to, 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 to run, share the message. It is good. One thing must kill a man, you know, but let that thing that will kill you become the when you are on the truthful part of this movement. One thing must kill a man. Now, if I need your forces that uh, if I need your forces that he had a meeting that he, that he had a meeting with a people which he cannot reveal in this place now where is that meeting and these people knew he had a secret meeting they don't want to they know and they keep on deceiving people i must get that meeting now, if I need your four continued, he said, because I'm going to mention them that shot the whole If they are unable to investigate what all happened in my house and produce the criminal that came to my house and lose my boss within the day for eight hours, I'll mention the names of the people that I had meetings with. I'll mention them. You could the government I'm not having with I'll mention them. Because my brother, uh, I didn't come and back for interaction at the point in question. Let me say this to you. And he become the we have, I've been involved in a highly sensitive and uh, he sensitive the meeting, security meeting. In IPO. And uh, I am not doing it in my capacity as a lawyer only. I'm doing it in Nigeria. my capacity as a lawyer to Nambikan and IPOB. All the and I'm, I'm, I'm doing it as a, and my capacity as a national student nationalist. And I POB. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing it as a my class as a national student nationalist. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing it as a. You do hear him? He is doing it as a nationalist. We keep on explaining in this place the meaning of being a nationalist. Yet people wasted time, all their time. On this liberation movement, we are we are into. They wasted all their time <clears throat> fighting an innocent man. We have to keep this record how it, where it's supposed to be. And my class has naturally two nationalists who cannot be stand back uh, for records. I've been frequenting my my home for the past two months because of the even the security agents will show you that and for no other reason than to take part in meetings that will restore total normalcy in our region. Uh, so these are the these meetings have been attended to at the behest of my client uh, because so people will not be saying who have been saying that 
Nah, the can doesn't want this and doesn't want that. But nah, the can is not. I mean, it's not a vast of peace. Can doesn't want this and doesn't want that. But nah, the can is not. I mean, it's not a vast of peace. Don't want this and doesn't want that. But nah, the can is not. I mean, it's not a vast of peace. Can doesn't want this and doesn't want that. But nah, the can is not. I mean, it's not a vast of peace. A peaceful solution of issues or hostilities in our region. So then I've been attending a number of meetings in that regard at the behest of my client uh, because so, so people will not be saying who have been saying that now the can doesn't want this and doesn't want that but now the can is not a minute is not a vast of peace do you hear it do you hear him he he says that in nam the can after meeting with the ohanes and with the eastern governors with the every other person you know, he said that in Nam Dekano is not a mene, or oh, Nam Dekano is not advanced to peace. Listen to it. In case when you want to talk, you will know what you are saying. And the canon is not a minute, is not a vast of peace. Is not a minute, is not a vast of peace. A peaceful resolution of issues or hostilities in our region. So then I've been attending a number of meetings in that regard. He is not advanced to peaceful resolution of our region. <clears throat> you hear him say, you hear him there. Then why is it that somebody? Coordinator, zona coordinator, HOD, will disobey Mazen Nam de Kano. Will disobey Mazen Nam de Kano, knowing that this man said this thing, and we all stood here and begin to shout that this is not normal. That this thing is not normal. There is no way you will see someone who say admitted. That he is a nationalist. Admitted that he is a nationalist, then you keep on supporting him, and he is telling you that he is the most trusted, <clears throat> the most trusted of Mazen Namdekano, that no other person Mazen Namdekano listened to, except him. Listen, how they played the game. So on this fifth, I came back on the fifth of um, June. So have a meeting All with the Archbishop of Niger Province, Bilal, Archbishop Bilal Bilal Keke. The Thereafter, I came back Bilal home, uh, and uh, because I and I was tired, was I decided to go upstairs and rest and in preparation for this meeting. I came in along with my friend, who also attended the meeting at Niger. Niger. Yeah, of Anambra State, by the operators of the state of Nigerian police. And your police force. So we are we are still going on. We are still going on to where yeah. the bomb body and then I'm there. You know the kind of by the way. Yeah, <laughs> Basically, yeah, France. This is the message we come to do, and as we are doing it, as we are doing this this program, we want to understand. We want you to understand how they used missionary journeys. You know that missionary journeys are the people, these pastors, 
and the Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sisters, all these uh, Christian people, they are working behind the messages which the missionary journeys left for them. Are you, are you getting it now? So, when missionary journeys came, after Ezume's war, they found out that this land, this land, Biafran land, is the kingdom of God on this planet Earth. We are God who must protect. And God himself <clears throat> knew that his children in Biafran land will suffer in the hands of enemies. Then God himself created different kind of herbs, different kind of trees, different kind of energies that will protect his own people when the time comes. <coughs> Sorry. When the time comes. Emeni Kachibo, thank you for joining. Now, when missionary journeys came, when colonial masters came before slave trade, the war of Ezumezu, our people used this power, which you see life bullet, is not even killing the children of God. And uh, Leopardo II from Belgium, when he went to Africa, he says that he has found the people with the extra energy, with the extra power, well advanced, and the people who knows the rule of law. He says, there is no other way to capture these people than to bring their memory down than to subdue, there is no other way to subdue their energy than psychological way of manipulation. They have to manipulate them psychologically. That is why they wrote Bible and they brought Bible down to Eastern zone, the, 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 the land of God on this planet Earth. When the, fe the first the religion was Catholic Church. If you read the Catholic Church Bible, the Catholic Church Bible contains 70 something books. Why King, is King James Version contains 66 books? <clears throat> King James rewrited the Bible and he told you that all this thing, the power of God, you know, the, you know this phone we are using today, this phone we are using today, Things that is being used to produce food came from the sand in Africa. They are using it to produce food. And they, some of our pastors cannot tell you that those things they are using to produce food is evil or diabolic. Rather, when they see that our people God spoke to our ancestors and introduced them to different powers. <clears throat> then, different energies. Then, they have been using it. Now, they use the missionary journeys to tell our people that whatever these people are doing to protect themselves is evil pastors and the uh, pastors reverend fathers and reverend sisters evangelists and deacons and deaconesses home movie actors nigerian movie actors they brought the foreign god all of us are christian but you have to ask yourself different kind of question today you can hear our people they throw them bomb. They survive. All these bullets are the bullets that choke their body. They couldn't die. Because Shuko Kikabi Ama know already that the enemies will come. Before he has been able to create plants and the trees, fruits, which our people must use in the time like this. 
in a time like this. That is the thing we have come to tell you. That's why we titled this thing, The Mystic Power of Chukwokika Biyama to our ancestors is at work. Can you believe that life bullet, these people are saying in, in this place that all this thing is being is coming to the I don't go back to go back up. He has in double a large miser by a voice and I was a miser by a body miser by a blood in the fire. I didn't miser by a high in the bring away by a bomb. There I have running today. Today, 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 I'm about to can get Manu Dodi to cool. Well, I don't know about that. I thought I would 28 March 28 March being Thursday 2024. I am a dear. I am a I am a dear. All bullet and a bullet, all bullet. Yeah, you can have a don't let any hammer So, are you getting the? Are you getting the, the the program we are doing today? What we are doing is to bring out things, things our people are not giving value. The things our people are not giving value. And the reason, the reason you must do anything to make sure you support this movement, the reason you have to make sure that you support this movement, that is why we are analyzing this thing the way we are doing it. Because if we are not here bringing all this thing out, then telling you that. Uh, Biafra is winning. Chuko Kika Biyama is with us. The God whom Mazen and Nandekano say that we should call upon. Eh? You will not understand it. Then, because seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. Are you are you are you getting it now? Why we are doing we are keeping documentary because the United Nations is also watching what we are doing. Mazen Nandekano says that when the time comes, eh, everything we play on its own. Now, everything we play on its own. That is why.
<clears throat> if you are not uh, understanding it, try to understand it now. And the understanding it is knowing where you stand. Are you standing on the truth or are you standing on the lie? Which side are you standing? Here, we have to go on to show our people the reasons we are fighting. And I must support those that have what it takes to restore Biafra. Because I, the Biafra child, want to make a mazo I don't have what it takes to give you Biafra. There are baboons and monkeys everywhere. And some monkeys everywhere. And I must support those that have what it takes to restore Biafra. Because I, the Biafra child, want to make a mazo I don't have what it takes to give you Biafra. <clears throat> there are baboons and monkeys everywhere. And some monkeys everywhere. Why we are doing what we are doing? We told them that where they stop is where we are going to start. Where they stop is where we are going to start. Because the African declaration, the African declaration will be from Where to we are bringing out some of the reasons we are here. Don't be angry with me. We are bringing out deep analysis while we are here. Don't go, please. Don't go. Don't go. <clears throat> this is not, this one will not play good. This video is where they are explaining how much they are paying i want to bring it in a good form don't be angry with me don't be angry with me i come with a good analysis which we will have to do today let me go straight let me go straight Assessment activities and therefore assessment activities they are behaving <coughs> people and uh, their leader or their uh, their organization the organization is Miti Allah. We want to understand <coughs> why Nigerian government gave Miti Allah hundred billion naira, no matter the security issues in Nigeria. Uh, well, this issue we have discussed about it, we have talked about it for a very long time. It is quite clear at this point in time for everybody to understand that the Islamists, the jihadists, led by the Fulani Jihad, is in control of the Nigerian government. Yeah. If you could remember, there was a time that Boko Haram nominated the late Muhammad Buhari to negotiate on their behalf when the former president of Nigeria, good Lord Jonathan, was in power. You could also testify that in 2015, when Muhammad Buhari became the president of Nigeria, he started falsifying the murderous Islamist Boko Haram that has been killing people, that have raised communities, 
that have caused death and destruction, he started to negotiate with them, giving them money, <clears throat> paying ransom, unconstitutionally, without any parliamentary approval for such inducement. Yeah. That is to empower Boko Haram to arm themselves yeah. the more. Okay. From that trend, Boko Haram members that were captured 2013, 2014 by the good luck Jonathan administration, all of them were released and recruited into the Nigerian army. Mm -hmm. And such recruitment, recruiting jihadists into the mainstream Nigerian army is supposed to have gone through the parliament if Nigeria is really a state that works with law. But this was done single-handedly by the presidency of Nigeria, which is unconstitutional. We also see that in the North, East in, in, in Borno State, they call them hunters. These hunters, they are like the vigilantes in my villages. Yeah. These hunters were empowered and attached to the Nigerian military, which is very, very so lovers of freedom. You know why I we we organized this video before and we post it in order for when we come to analyze it, everybody will be understanding. Knowing what you are telling people outside, knowing the kind of message you are delivering to people. <laughs> because if you want to do such things, mm. there must be a parliamentary legislation on that. Yes. So that every other part of the country will participate in that hunting business. Yes. But it is only for born state. These are for agenda. Yes. We can also remember that immediately Muhammad Buhari mm -hmm. was sworn into power in 2015. The first thing he did was to take the military command center, mm. take it to to Borno, to the Fulani uh, controlled area. area. Mm. It was for a purpose. a purpose. In order to indoctrinate these people secretly without people knowing it. Mm. What they are doing, mm. they are officially retraining these jihadists. When as they are training them, mm. these people. When this thing was going on, these people, these are television. When Mazen Nandekano made the voice of Biafra to go far, calling on journalism, journalists to join this struggle, to speak out to injustice being perpetrated to our people. When we were doing this thing, this is what Ifanye Jofo delayed the person who sold Mazen Nandekano. This is what he authorized his own people to be doing. So you are sending Nigerian government information. Why wouldn't I send them message so that they would know exactly who is after them? I will send it to them. I will send it tomorrow. I will send it in the next 30 years. Because you will not go and get problem and put it on us. Then you want me to keep quiet. No. Nigerian government, you are, you are, you are saying, no, you think that it's not a gossip. I'm telling you. If you kill the army, I get to know that you are the one. I will tell them, this is the person who did it. So that they will not touch my people. I will tell them, this is the person. They sign on it. Is the person who killed the black people. So you don't expect me to be quiet. So if you want me to keep quiet, so they will kill our members. That's what you want me to do. I will not do it. So those of you who are saying, oh, you can't guys send a message, he's telling me, am I hiding doing it? I'm doing it. You can see me online. I'm doing it here. Until I'm doing it here. 
I will do it here and nothing they will do. They killed Nigeria army. And believe you me, all of them will surely pay for this. They <clears throat> this is how the war is happening. This journalist, Nigerian government paid 100 billion naira, 100 billion naira to arm Fulani bandits. These people you see being recruited, being recruited, what they are doing is to, to fight against their own brothers. Why Fulanis are busy, are busy paying 100 billion activities and therefore his main activities they are behaving people and uh, their leader or their uh, their organization the organization is Mieti Allah. We want to understand why Nigerian government gave Mieti Allah 100 billion naira no matter the security issues in Nigeria. Uh, well this issue we have discussed about it we have talked about it for a very long time. It is quite clear at this point in time for everybody to understand that the Islamists, the jihadists, led by the Fulani Jihad, is in control of the Nigerian government. Yeah. If you could remember, there was a time that Boko Haram nominated the late Muhammad Buhari to negotiate on their behalf when the former president of Nigeria, good Lord Jonah, Ebele, Jonathan, was in You see what is happening. Many of times we used to say that the Igbo man is still the problem of Igbo man. Fulanis nominated Buhari. Yeah, Boko Haram nominated Buhari to go and represent them. But to Igbo people who sold Mazen Nandekano, the only voice, they go on recruiting they people. They are doing about sending me messages. Oh, you think? So you are sending Nigerian government information. Why wouldn't I send them message so that they will know exactly who is after them? While we are doing what we are doing. I will send it. We are doing what we are doing, keeping the records how it's supposed to be. Now, let us take you deep a little. Owen, thank you for joining. Blessing Kelechi, thank you for joining. Gozier DTV, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let this message, let this message go viral. If you watch here now, a picture speaks more than a thousand words. You will see Fulanese, how they've been protected when they went inside Boko Haram to train her on how to use gun and the bullet. And when these people, after their training, Buhari called them and they recruited them and give them army uniform, give them police uniform, give them Navy, Navy uniform, promoted some of them and put some of them inside offices. These people whom our PM has mapped out under one third are the people in the Southeast. They are the people who authorized these people to come to Biafran land to kill their own people. To kill their own people. Why P2B is now the Gumi? You know, P2B now is with the leader of the terrorist Gumi. He cannot even go to television and call the names of the people who is killing people. But all of them team up to bring down someone who came to speak. Now, we have to go on to analyze. 
power. You could also testify that in 2015, when Muhammad Buhari became the president of Nigeria, he started pacifying the murderous Islamist Boko Haram that has been killing people, that have raised communities, that have caused death and destruction, he started to negotiate with them, giving them money, paying ransom, unconstitutionally, without any parliamentary approval for such inducement. Yeah. That is to empower Boko Haram to arm themselves yeah. the more. Okay. <clears throat> From that trend, Boko Haram members that we are Dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want you to watch this video. This is the people terrorizing Imo and Anambra, and now they have met their Waterloo. Many of you will be saying, oh, why are you celebrating their death? Pay attention. These people told you that they are forcing sit at home. Who are they forcing to sit at home against? Their friends are sitting at home willingly. You don't force sit at home on Pay any person. And the IPOB can never use gun and bullets to force anyone. I want you to watch this video. After you watch it, I will come back. Um, Ogina, you know. <coughs> yeah, yeah. One AK, two, three, four, plus one patch, five. <coughs> Rocket launcher. One. Mm. Oh, well. Listen to some of you knows because of um, policies. Some of you knows about this thing. All these people now, all of them today, they knew this guy who made this video. Who made this video? France have been using willingly for their solidarity for Mazin Amnikan, but the criminals are not capitalizing on that. Captured 2013-2014 by the good luck Jonathan administration, all of them were released and recruited into the Nigerian mm. army. And such recruitment Recruiting jihadists into the mainstream Nigerian army is supposed to have gone through the parliament if Nigeria is really a state that works with law. But this was done single handedly by the presidency of Nigeria, which is unconstitutional. We also see that in the northeast, in, in, in Borno State, they call them hunters. These hunters, they are like the vigilantes in my villages. Yeah. These hunters we are empowered and attached to the Nigerian military, which is very, very wrong. It's very unconstitutional. Wrong. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to do such things, mm -hmm. there must be a parliamentary legislation on that. Yes. So that every other part of the country will participate in that hunting business yes but it is only for born state these are for agenda yes. we can also remember that immediately muhammad buhari mm -hmm. was sworn into power in 2015 the first thing he did was to take the military command center mm -hmm. take it to to Borno, to the fulani a controlled area area mm. it was for a purpose in order to indoctrinate these people secretly without people knowing it mm. what they are doing when we've been explaining this thing to be friends when we have been explaining this thing this agenda to be friends the agenda of usman don fodio this is what all these recruited people been doing. So kind. They have just meet their Waterloo. Now, 
Another thing I want you to pay attention, there is a video I will play you here so that you will see the reaction of the village, where these people come from, so that you will know how people react to their death. Are people mourning their death or people celebrating their death? If people are not mourning your death and they claim... Are you getting it? How many people know this? So, all these people today, we are them. We are them. All of them entered, many of them entered the Ebubago to be fighting against the Biafra they took oath to defend. Many of them took money. Many of them now are inside the Ebubago. You know, many regretted and many returned. And in this Biafran government today, the door is open to anybody who found out that he, he, he or she has made a mistake in this movement we are into. We will go on analyzing. Today, our message is spiritual. The mystic power of Chukukika Abiyama to our ancestors is at work, very, very active, because you will not understand what happened. It doesn't mean you have not had the betrayed Mazen Namdekano. But when you understand why they betrayed Namdekano and how they betrayed him, then you will be able to know the history you will pass down to your people. Let us keep on analyzing this video that is here. Mm. They are officially retraining this jihadist. When as they are training them, mm. these people, they are retraining them in order mm. to use them for an impending jihad. There is an impending jihad in Nigeria. Because in 1960, after Nigeria's independence, Ahmadu Bello reminded them again that this estate, this Nigeria that was created, that has been given independence should be seen as an estate of their great grandfather Uthman Damfu. That they will prevent if they go to a village, to a town, because in 1960, after Nigeria's independence, Ahmadu Bello reminded them again that this estate, this Nigeria that was created that has been given independence should be seen as an estate of their great-grandfather. Because in 1960, after Nigeria's independence, Ahmadu Bello reminded them again that this estate, this Nigeria that was created, that has been given in Yo. I'm in a labor camp as a labor. This is the Amadou Bello he's Over talking the about. They will try to emerge as headman of that camp. And so on. Well, in, in the past, our people were not alive to their responsibilities. Because you can see from our northernization policy that in 1952, when I came here, there weren't 10 northerners in our civil service here. Then I tried to have it northernized, and now all, all important posts are being held by northerners. Is this policy of filling all key posts in the north solely with northerners and not with other Nigerians a temporary or permanent one? In actual fact, what it is, is a northerner first. If you can't get a northerner, then we take an expatriate like yourself on contract. If we can't, then we can employ another Nigerian, but on contract too. This is going to be a permanent, I should say, for as far as I can foresee, because it would be rather dangerous to see the number of boys we are now turning from our, all our learning institutions coming out with having no, no work to do. I'm sure whichever government of the day might be, it will, and I should say, for as far as I can foresee. Are you understanding? <clears throat> Please give me a comment. No panda, Emma. Thank you. Happy Ume. Thank you. Thank you. When Mazen Nandekano begin to 
agitate. He already calling everybody, trying that everybody will become a journalist. This one we are doing now is what they call mini journalist, you know? Then, when Mazen Namdekan begin to cry out louder, this journalist, these are Nigerian journalists. This one, this one you are watching here now. They begin to hear and they begin to reason on the gospel of Mazen Namdekan. Then the message of Biafra begin to circulate all over the world. International media begin to listen to our outcry. Thank you. Then they begin to listen to our outcry. Now, they planned on how to take Mazen Nandekano out of the way. Then Amadou Bello said here that anybody who will work in Nigeria, you can see him here, who, can, who will work in Nigeria has to work as under contract. That is why you see that all these pulpits that came from Biafra land are serving Fulanese. And they go as far as, as bringing our prime minister on a wanted list. Now, our prime minister brought them out also on a wanted list. These are the pulpits that is working under contract to keep what Usman Danfodio created. We have to go on to analyze this video for you to know why we are doing it. We will be combining everything. This is how we do our own analysis. The people who is not here, who don't know how we do our analysis, this is how we do our analysis. With the play, with the show. A picture speaks more than a thousand words. The sea has a new challenge every day because the treasure is hidden in an open place. Now we go on. <clears throat> Dependent should be seen as an estate of their great grandfather, Utman Damfodio. That they will prevent us from controlling our destiny. And that yeah. is what they are pursuing to the letter. And in 2019, the government is giving out 100 billion naira to the terrorists. In 2019, the government is giving out 100 billion naira to the terrorists. What they are pursuing to the letter. And in 2019, the government is giving out 100 billion naira to the terrorists. In 2019, Zoo government, terrorist government, gave Fulanese, Meyetiala, the most deadliest terrorists in this world. They gave them 100 billion naira to fund them. And when they are doing this thing, this is what Hello, our people is doing. Reporting from Finland, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we would rejoice and be glad in it. Simon Ekpa has been arrested by the Finnish police. Simon Ekpa, the Nigerian guy who lives in Lati, who has been terrorizing Nigeria, has been arrested by the Finnish police. And the Finnish police has done a great job. Has done a great job. How can Simon Ekpa be in Finland and be sponsoring terrorism in Nigeria that has killed a lot of people in Nigeria? I trust the Finnish government. I trust the Finnish government. That's why I'm here contributing to the development of Finland. God bless Finland. God bless San Marin. God bless the government of Finland. God bless the Finnish police. They've done a great job. Simon Ekpa, Simon Ekpa, the leader of autopilot terrorist group who incites violence in Nigeria, violence that provokes killing, has just been arrested. Glory be to God, glory be to God. Simon Epa has been arrested. Finnish police. Kudos, kudos, kudos. 
Are you understanding the game? Because we didn't put the word inside their mouth. They are the ones. Government is giving out 100 billion naira to the terrorists. It's for your purpose. Is giving out 100 billion naira to the terrorists. It's for your purpose. <coughs> for to advance ethnic. As this thing is going on, Emelike, <laughs> thank you. Yes, I am preaching it for everybody to understand. You know, the last time Mazen Nandekanu came out, Mazen Nandekanu spoke in a high volume. You know, without Simon Neba, Nandekanu cannot open mouth again. Nandekanu would have become a dead human being today. But when he see that now Biafra now already have government and will be declared on the 2nd of December, Mazen Nandekan went to court and he told Bintan Nyaku, where is his treasonable felony? Where are all these things? I told you I will win you in this court. I will defeat Nigerian government in this court. Is it not true? If every one of us would back down, do you think that the Mazen Nandekan will have got to say to speak again? That will never happen. I want to read comment. People are here. Read, I want to read comment. The only thing I don't have this thing to bring the, the, the comments out. Eh? Patient, thank you. <clears throat> Happy you may, thank you. You know, you know, this is what these people. Master Simon never preached what he called afterthought betrayal. And the, the mystic power of Chukwu Kika Biyama to our ancestors is at work. The mystic. We are telling you now how this thing is functioning physically and the spiritually. All these people that fight against our PM today, where are them? The spirit of Biafra is fighting. And we told you that Biafra is a spirit. Nobody can defeat. Mazen Nandekano says only Biafra, only Chukwokika Biyama will deliver Biafra. And the, the spirit of Chukwokika Biyama fight. The spirit of Chukwokika Biyama is like, like a Amadi Oha that they fight with fire. That is the spirit of Chukwu Kabiyama. Chukwu Kabiyama, people who is defining Chukwu Kabiyama, there is another supreme God. And there is Chukwu Kike Abiyama. Chukwu Kabiyama is like a Madioha that they fight with the fire. Since the initiation of Chukwu Kike Abiyama, what is happening in the African land? Fire, fire everywhere. And we, we deliver Biafra. Diana, Diana, thank you. Thank God for the life of our PM. Now, Diana, thank you. Your messages is recorded here. Now, <clears throat> we are listening to them again. And when we listen to them, we will bring out evidences because the mystic power of Chukukikabiyama is working in our life today. Let us continue. ethnic cleansing to take over the land that belongs to the indigenous people enslave those that couldn't run away okay thank you um, mm -hmm. I, I, okay Th that Listen, means the money was not actually given Listen, for the, the money that mm -hmm. was given to them is for them to arm themselves more to the teeth remember Lushego Passando was the money that was given to them is for them to arm themselves more to the teeth. Remember, Lushego Basanjo was part of those that massacred more than 5 million Biafran people. Yeah. Lushego Basanjo is part of the cabal. He's part of the caliphate mm. that has subjugated the people of Nigeria mm. for years mm. now. Through their policies. Lushego Basanjo mm. was with uh, Motala Mohammed. Before he die. Are you getting it clearly? Hmm. John Chooks, thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are packaging the history and a documentary our upcoming generation will go into and dig out. When PM begin to tell people, telling P2B to come down, IPOBs come down, what happened? Listen. <coughs> This was when Tinibu, when Tinibu um, mobilized his thoughts, his, his talks, to fight against the people who wanted to vote for Pitobi, undermining Pitobi won the election. And here, they said, Amadou Bello said in this place, Yeah. Olusegun Obasanjo became the president of Nigeria in 1979. Mm. Olusegun Obasanjo also became the president of Nigeria again from 1999 to 2007. So he knows the secret agenda because yes. this secret agenda was not discovered today since the 60s. This secret agenda is the reason why the five major struck. Go and read the book. Why we struck, written by Ademola Ademoyega. This secret agenda is the reason why the five majors struck. Go and read the book, Why We Struck, written by Ademola Ademoyega. Go and read that book. You will see the reason why they struck. It is because there was an Islamic Fulani agenda to complete the conquest of Uthman Land of 1804. Agenda to complete the conquest of Uthman Land of 1804. So these are what is happening. Uh, um, Mr. Kalag, we have said uh, it all. Um, our people can see exactly what is happening. The movement of Islamization in Nigeria, the movement of uh, uh, jihad in Nigeria. Biafrans had you, and uh, what we want to understand right now is what do you think that Biafrans should do right now to escape this Islamization agenda? The only thing is to impress Biafra. Uh, our, our, our viewers, Nigerians, lovers of freedom, the people of Biafra, the dice is cast. Olusegu Obasanjo has said it. The last time T.Y. Danjuma also said it. If you don't know who is T.Y. Danjuma, T.Y. Danjuma was also part of the caliphate in the city. T.Y. Danjuma was part of, was So, lovers of freedom, we are keeping the history. What you see there is the picture of uh, T.Y. Danjuma. And the video that is playing there is also T.Y. Danjuma. This state Danjuma. Is, being, is under assault. There's an attempt at ethnic cleansing in this state and, of course, in all the River Rhine state of Nigeria. We must resist it. We must stop it. Every one of us must rise up. The armed forces are not neutral. They collude. They collude. They collude with the armed bandits that kill people, kill Nigerians. They facilitate their movements. They cover them. If you are depending on the armed forces to stop the killings, you will all die one by one. <clears throat> Are you getting what we are doing? 
please your comment is needed your comment is highly needed why we are doing what we are doing is for you to know the reason you must support what we are doing one of those including the one that killed Agui Ironsi. and in 2018 2019 these people that have been working with the caliphate came out openly to tell you that there is islamic agenda you have to believe them you have to work to make sure that you free yourself from this impending danger to tell you that there is islamic agenda you have to believe them you have to work to make sure that you free yourself from this impending danger movement. So now, dated November 6th, 2019, the battle is getting closer. We call on all true Muslims. This is the time to act. This is the time for Second Holy War. We started in 1804. The British stopped us. We must regain the terrorist laws. It is against Islam to rotate war with infidels. Forget about elections that will only lead to sharing of power. Think of the kingdom that we shall rule forever. We can change the naughty history. Ottoman and Polio did it successfully. We can do it. We must take the enemies in the West, Central and the last by surprise. That is the plot. They spy and occupy their homes, occupy their forests, occupy their streets, occupy their schools, occupy their market and You will suffer in this. Rain and shade will fall on you, whatever will fall on you after the inevitable passes. Our task on the infidels must be total and overwhelming. We must begin by installing fear in them, weakening their resolve through ignorance, brutal rapes, making it difficult for them to farm and subdue them before the war. Our strategies involve learning from the tactics of the past and merge it with the wisdom of the movement. There is no going back, Nigeria is our own. It was handed over to us by Allah. How then can we share what is ours? We must never fight a defensive war. We must make the battle. We must take the battle to the homes of the infidels. We must use everything that we have whether you are a boy a lady a man or a woman all muslims of fulani origin must take this as a duty we must sharpen our fighting weapons everything is a weapon your kada your knives your hands the trailers you drive the tankers with fuel food and food yourself the house of the infidels that you can study very well and wait for our order Exploit the weakness of the infidels, they are lousy. Lack discipline, sleep like fools, love parties and dances. Lack discipline and mostly unarmed. With your vantage positions, you can take on a whole family of ten. Conquer and kill them if need be. The battle must be fought in their homeland. The middle belt must be totally crushed. They are few and divided. Never trust anyone in the east and not in the south. Not even their filthy Muslims who do everything Allah rejects. Get yourself prepared. The battle is near. Please circulate all the things. Very good. Jesus. IPOB. One family. One family. IPOB. Okay. I think before this, our Onyendu, the leader of indigenous people of Yafra, has been saying this. Am I right? Yes. <coughs> so. This is where this one stopped. You know, dear friends, thank you that you are here. Talks about killing your premier. Thank you that you are here watching, sharing, commenting also. It is good when you are doing something, you know exactly what you are doing. When you are doing something, you know exactly why you are fighting, why you stand strong to defend that which you must defend. Because they deceived this DOS people. Today, all of them are running up and down, 
all of them don't even know where they belong all of them don't even know what to do they don't even know what to do many of them that's why they are crying confusion and the karma some people in this Biafran struggle they, are, they, they say the karma is real the karma is the reason you see them shouting and they crying I don't know what they are doing now they are going about sending me messages oh you think so you are sending nigerian government information why wouldn't i send them message so that they would know exactly who is after them <clears throat> i will send it i will send it this person who is here working for if i know back and if i age your phone and his voice have destroyed a lot of people why our media has been able to capture some nigerian because the nigerian constitution which is fraudulent has sharia in it and this sharia is what they are implementing so we should not take this particular threat with a pinch of salt we must act decisively through the revolution that the indigenous people of Biafra is seeking through the United Nations Charter for the rights of indigenous people for self-determination. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. We must act decisively through the revolution that the indigenous people of Biafra is seeking through the United Nations Charter for Biafrans, do you know the revolution these people took to Finland? This is the, uh, the revolution. When you know that Finland is doing everything to make sure that children of God is being saved. And this is the revolution that we are able to carry. It is not new to you keeping history because the mystery of our of Chuku Kikabiyama upon the life of our ancestors is active. Is active. This is the program of 5555 vision. And uh, we play what we know. Things, evidences, not you coming and telling me to leave that that made me to took oath. This everything this man said here is the reason I left my business and the things I am doing and took oath to support this movement. Yes, the Afghan and, the, people. and the, their leader or their uh, their organization, the organization is Mieti Allah. We want to understand why Nigerian government gave Mieti Allah 
100 billion naira, no matter the security issues in Nigeria. Uh, well, this issue, we have discussed about it. You know, as we are coming, we are piling, piling, piling histories here. Why we are fighting? Fighting defending Mazen Nandekano, which they have today, they formed a, a picture of him Nandekano with the green, white, green. We've been telling them Mazen Nandekano passed this information. And uh, here is what Shetima was doing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the vice president of Nigeria. The people who is Amin, who gave 100 billion to their own brothers to arm them to come down to Eastern Zone to kill your own brothers. And they, what these people that call themselves IPOB Nigeria, calling you, telling you that Nam Bekano is their Lord and personal savior. They could not analyze this thing. They couldn't tell them that uh, Nigeria has been sponsoring these people. What they say is we have they have to destroy Simon Eba and the, anybody who asks what has Simon Eba done. Mazen Nyamwodo here in this place said. Anybody who will stand up to defend himself, anybody who will, anybody who will stand to say that they want to be free, he is going to sabotage them. And it was a young word, it was a young word that it was in young word that is the leader of uh, um, and Dibo then. He is the person that is signed. Operation Python Dance, the one that took the life of many in Afaru Kwebeku. And this is the man. And still walk when you have a play. And then you have a And they look at the table. You can the undocumented. I'm not going to be able to do that. If you can the Instead, this man will go and negotiate. To bring back all the all our people that that is being sold as slave, what he said here will shock you. Eh? You know, with the play, with the show, with the play, with the show. Have you seen how the saboteur started? The father of Omnian Wodo worked as a saboteur during the Afghan War. And then Nian Wodo initiated this saboteur movement that is go that has been going on. Nian Wodo and the, all these Irats. 500,000 recruited Iraqs. They never told you something like this.
<clears throat> Why we are doing what we are doing, keeping mighty history and the mighty documentary. Mighty documentary as we are keeping it up. We are keeping them up. All this thing is piled because the power of Chuku Kikabiyama is doing mighty. Let us listen to this place, then I will have to bring something in case of tomorrow. We have talked about it for a very long time. It is quite clear at this point in time for everybody to understand that the Islamists, the jihadists, led by the Fulani Jihad, is in control of the Nigerian government. Yeah. If you could remember, there was a time that Boko Haram nominated the late Muhammad Buhari to negotiate on their behalf when the former president of Nigeria, good Lord Jonathan, was in power. You could also testify that in 2015, when Muhammad Buhari became the president of Nigeria, he started pacifying the murderous Islamist Boko Haram that has been killing people, that have raised communities, that have caused death and destruction, he started to negotiate with them, giving them money, paying ransom, unconstitutionally, without any parliamentary approval for such inducement. Yeah. That is to empower Boko Haram to arm themselves yeah. the more. Okay. From that trend, Boko Haram members that were captured 2013-2014 by the Good Luck Jonathan administration, all of them were released and recruited into the Nigerian army. Mm. And such recruitment, recruiting jihadists into the mainstream Nigerian army is supposed to have gone through the parliament if Nigeria is really a state that works with law. But this was done single-handedly by the presidency of Nigeria, which is unconstitutional. We also see that in the northeast, in, in, in Borno State, they call them hunters. These hunters, they are like the vigilantes in my villages. Yeah. These hunters were empowered and attached to the Nigerian military, which is very, very wrong. It's very unconstitutional. Very wrong. Mm. Because if you want to do such things, mm. there must be a parliamentary legislation on that. Yes. So that every other part of the country will participate in that hunting business. Yes. But it is only for born state. These are for agenda. Yes. We can also remember that immediately Muhammad Buhari mm -hmm. was sworn into power in 2015. The first thing he did was to take the military command center, mm -hmm. take it to to Borno, to the Fulani uh, controlled area. area. Mm -hmm. It was for a purpose. a purpose, in order to indoctrinate these people secretly without people knowing it. Mm. What they are doing... Yeah, friends, our message is, is documentary. Delivering the message. You listening know it very, very well that what Biafra need now is support. What the Biafran government need today is support because they must defend the land. Some people said that the power the Biafran Liberation Army is using is diabolic. Some pastors, some people, some brainwashed people. Then how can you call it diabolic when God created those things and put on that land in order for them to use it to defend themselves? in order for them to be able to remember his name. 
He is the person who created those plants, who created those fruits, who created those, those things they are using to protect themselves. And when this thing is being happened, you know the people they recruited, after, school, after slave trade, they came through missionary journey and the, and the colonization. And after that one, they handed our future over to missionary journeys, which missionary journeys handed our future over to pastors, deacons, and deaconesses. All these people you see taking my phone and making noise every here and there, telling you that something is coming when nothing is coming, that you have to focus your attention that somebody will appear from the sky. But the worst is this thing has happened now in our own eyes. How divide and rule take effect? And we say no to divide and rule. That is why coordinator of Korea made a program and he says, he they says, are no, they are confessing. I said it last time. Remember, yes. more confession is coming. Each time they sleep and wake up, the spirit will possess them to, to begin to, even oh Bogi Ruzi, the same Nigerian government will begin to hunt them everywhere they are. Yes. And here you come and get them now. Our PMA will be our PMA for all of us anywhere you see. But for those you see, for those I see, everybody for Ndame, could work any doors, everybody for Nde, I be over Nigeria. Yeah, also. Or what one? Mamma no go here because of what called your man. Mm-hmm. and is willing to forgive them and accept them. Yes. For that pride in them, we never allow them to come back. And I'm telling all dear friends that my life is in danger. And the early day after I'm born on a newspaper South Korea, a man that I have refused not to be pushed to the wall. Early day for I'm born on a newspaper South Korea, more that I said enough is enough. Mm. And in my head, exactly. And for those hearing my voice, do not be dismayed. Because I want to tell you one thing in the next 200 years, Nigeria has no way to go, has no future. The good old time on the good old time on the good old time on the good Look at all some so look at some few African nations who are waking up. They go to Senegal. Look at that, that young, brilliant, vibrant young man who just took over as a train. Look at what he's saying to France. First of all, he's telling them face to face that they know he's alone. Mm -hmm. And you and I cannot get up to tell these people that enough is really enough. Thank you, Mazi. Let me be able to. Only get good of Ana, my mommy, Hannah, we are. No, dear friend, I don't like it. Ohafa said that I know that he know that he has not he has not the capacity to bring Biafra. You don't have the capacity to bring Biafra. And you see someone who has the capacity to bring it. Why not follow him? Now, we are gathering the story, gathering it, gathering it very, very well. When we asked IPOB Nigerians in Spain, coordinator, zona coordinator, and this one now that is, that is yabbing his mouth now, this one. Look at where we are. Look at where we are. Look at where we are. These people that are supposed to understand what we are pursuing. Ah, but I will engage your mother over so give me a rule what I He cannot understand what is the problem between them. Only can pull rubbish in a plan. Now, all of them are confused. This person now are the people who says anybody who sympathize with the Simon neighbor is the enemy of Biafra. This is the people that put the law. This is the people that put the law that says, <clears throat> if you mention the name of Simon neighbor, 
they will kill you. That is why you see, you see the person I played his own video now from from Vam 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 program. That is why he says his life is in danger. That his own life is in danger because these people you see. Some of them in Europe here. Some of these media warriors in Europe. They told us we have no right to listen to the program of Simon Eber. We have no right to watch his own program. We have no right to comment when Simon Eber is doing program. And we have no right to mention his name. Anyone who sympathizes with Simon Eber is enemy of Biafra. Look at them. We say that Kama will visit all of them, one after another. Look at him. Yeah, knows that how, how to ignore somebody who's who's misbehaving, overlooked him, make him irrelevant. You know, some after he boy immediately. No one name will open everything or tell her like I will tell you what you want to hear. So I'll let him know that for. You know, you know, complete. You know, what I see. You know, child, what I see. Like we buy naga. How can you get all one person man? None of you cannot even grow above this. You people now over your misconduct, you now drag everybody, creating disaffection here and there. Any man now, but as a premier, we see yellow motor pilot here now going to ban your charge. You now, man, you now wait for the man to get on the ground. I will not hide there. Now we get vacuum of silent because uh, the leadership is not quiet. All who know are going to fill the the, the gap. Now, my the where the leader who no got information where the leadership who no feel that gap one got until how that with a decision and report. Until how they want to come to the Sharon. Oh my God! Oh, she naked. Go out there, my book. Don't know. Don't know. I'm. I'm. Not. I'm not Don't know even now. Oh, is it? Is it better to quit this thing? I don't think I got. I don't think I can. Um, no, it's a, it's a while. Zap one of this thing. The pain is too much. The stress is too much. <clears throat> Not from the enemy, but from the enemy as well. The pain is, is unbearable. It's too much. I don't know. I call you there. I don't know. We are buying that guys. I'm gambling a more. I'm going to buy because I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, France, are you getting it? Everything we are doing is documentary. This these people who left the struggle they call they called them to, to do to come and fight, they ended up fighting themselves. You see how they are crying. Now they say it is not better. Better they, they are considering of not even doing Biafra again or talking about someone else again. That is the thing. The set age and every one of us. That is speaking about someone ever up. The other person in South Korea is crying all over the world. If you speak about someone ever, everybody they forgot everything that Nandekano has been able to raise people who begin to speak. Mm -hmm. They are officially retraining these jihadists. When as they are training them, mm -hmm. these people they are retraining them in order to use them for an impending jihad. There is an impending jihad in Nigeria. Because in 1960, after Nigeria's independence, Amadou Bello reminded them again that this estate, this Nigeria that was created, that has been given independence, should be seen as an estate of their great-grandfather, Utman Damfodio that they will prevent us from controlling our destiny and that is what they are pursuing to the letter and in 2019 the government is giving out 100 billion naira to the terrorists it's for the letter and in 2019 the government is giving out 100 billion naira to the terrorists Come. 
attitude doesn't need to fight for this freedom and get it. Only the chosen ones will fight it. All we need attitude doesn't need to fight for this freedom and get it. Only the chosen ones will fight it. All we need from you is your support, financially and otherwise. Now, I want to commend those who are repenting. I want to commend those who have now come to realize that all the blackmail against Simon Ekba, they are all lies and propaganda, and they are repenting. So this is one of them. If you repent, we we'll play your voice. American apostles don't fight him. American apostles don't fight him. Okay, okay. 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 Officially, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a young boy. Don't put, don't put your blood. My name, my name, my name, my name. I'm a young boy. 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 I'm a Let's you go before. All right. So, Kita now, I do go fully in support of you. Oh, yeah, I can't eat the in a car. I can't buy a color story. I got how for how long will the feverish birds keep in the hands of their own keeper? We can't keep like this. So, now I'm afraid of always your boss. I'm going to do the US. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be Kita now. I will come out and challenge you. Okay. Then they defend you. All right. Now, the struggle we are into. The fruit, the struggle is bearing is what we are registering. Those people who is uh, confessing today, PM told them the door is still open for them. In case if you can forward this message to them, tell them up to date, the door is still open for them to come in and continue fighting for their own freedom. Because Mazen Namdekano says, but I need you to understand that now is the time for us to attack more. Okay. If they say we are being insulted, insult them hundred times more now. All right. Because the devil has come out. Can you be easy? The serpent has reared its ugly head. We must decapitate it. We must come up the head of the serpent. Now, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. So, are you getting what is happening here? We are five, five, five vision. We preach our message in a different form. We preach our message in a different form. How God delivered his own message to me to say go and talk to Biafra is different to how he delivered another person. We are playing it how it happened. How it happened because we know the way. Now, the war which Mazen Nandekano talked about in this place is this are you are you understanding it he said this is the time the time has come and the evidence of that Evidence. There is something. It is true that many people have seen this picture. This video, Lord, Lord, Norma, I must greet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, Lord, Lord. Isn't it? You know, you must learn to recover from the history which Nigeria removed out of school. If Nigeria could keep school history in the school, everybody will know how to couple all these things. Remember, God said we will have the African Bible. These are the Biafran Bible. We are gathering them up. And the Biafra is a religion. When Biafra is finally restored, anything, any power that made these people to survive this thing,
<laughs> Mazen Nandekano called it Sound of Freedom. <laughs> so, tell me, tell me in comment, comment section. Any God who gave his own people this kind of protection, is that God not awarded to worship? But some people said that this thing is diabolic. For them to protect themselves with the power of nature, which God created. But you can use phone. Phone is being created by the power of nature. Things that came out of land, inside the ground, which God created. Whenever Biafra is restored, finally restored, you see, any energy that is distant, you see, you see it. Away from Aka, the guy, maybe that thing shoot him there. It couldn't penetrate. Maybe this person would have been a dead person. They said here that these people are shooting this thing to their body. Mazen Nandekan said this a long time ago, that they are coming to kill you. They prepared. And they, you see the preparation. Our people say, Eto ponketa aba, igo si yahaniru, ora pede katoriyambo. Any pastor, who is telling you that you protect yourself with the power of nature for you not to die? It's diabolic. Tell that person to go to hell. Now, what time? Why we tag our program today the mystic power of Chukwu Kikabiyama to our ancestors is at work is because of this because we personally we don't know these things but in our own eyes we are seeing it happening and this is what missionary journeys through colonial master came to destroy they said that they have traveled to that area. They found people with wisdom, power, energy, spiritually and the physical. And these people know law. They know that rape is bad. They know that um, killing is bad. You are not going to teach them this thing because their ancestors have taught them all these things. What we are going to do is to tell them that anything that comes out of their own land is evil. They should go on to destroy every energy that will protect them. And they recruited the missionary journeys that come along to be destroying all this kind of energy. Good enough. Good enough that some of these things remain. Imagine if this thing doesn't remain. If there are no people that have been able to keep some of these things, these things, what do you think will happen today? All this bullet will have would have eliminated these people, and we will have no warriors anymore. Dear friends, we are ending our program. If you have not subscribed to our program, subscribe. If you subscribe, turn the notification button on. If you are not paying, supporting these people, try to do so. It is necessary because this is the only hope you have. You have had it here. You have had it here that they've been paid 100 billion. East in, in, in Borno State, they call them hunters. These hunters, they are like the vigilantes. 
in my villages. Yeah. These hunters were empowered and attached to the Nigerian military, which is very, very wrong. It's very unconstitutional. Very wrong. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to do such things, mm -hmm. there must be a part and attached to the Nigerian military. Yeah. These hunters were empowered and attached to the Nigerian military, which is very, very wrong. It's very unconstitutional. Very wrong. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to... <clears throat> This hunters has been recruited and they attached to the Nigerian military. Which people are shooting this gun? Is it not Boko Haram? Is it not Boko Haram? It is for you to know. It is for you to know. What you are doing. Makonya go burukabaro. For you to know what you are doing. Konya go burukabaro. So today we call it a day. If you like our program, write us comment and show us appreciation. So watch out and turn on the notification button for more expositions. We are coming. Thank you all. We love you.